Hello, welcome back to Thornton Farm. Today we're down at the church again. Hopefully for close on the final time. But we do need to clear out this area here. There is going to be uh, some stuff going on around here in the coming days. The church actually wants to throw feet, uh, fate. I honestly don't know how to pronounce it. But some sort of party in early spring, and uh, we're in midwinter right now. In the middle of winter. But early spring, the church wants to throw a party in this area here. So, the reverend, the kind reverend, has asked us to hurry up with the, uh, the good work we've been doing in his words. Interesting. And get the wood shipping done. I have the feeling that's going to have caused some troubles. Um, so you do have the big chipper still. We still have the Yen's chipper. Got that until we finish this job. And then I get to make the decision as to whether I want to buy one or just uh, make do with the little chipper still. And it's increasingly looking like I'll be buying one of these things. Because it's just so much more convenient than the small chipper. Come on, into the chipper you go. And you too, good sir, can go into the wood chipper. Into the chipper. I need to turn on the fast track actually, just so that I can get its digital feed going. There we go. You can see that there has been a lot of work done here. A whole bunch of work. Uh, we've felled almost every tree in the area. It's just a case of cutting them up and chicken, chipping them up now. And uh, that shouldn't be too, too big of a job. Uh, let's see, that is a branch that can be cut out. Like that. And like that. Yeah, I know the winter work hasn't been, you know, the most exciting stuff in the world. You guys would much prefer to see field work going on in the farm, but honestly, this is work that needs to be done, so if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. And I mean, it is, it is nice looking around and seeing snow everywhere. But one thing we do need to buy at some point, um, and it is going to have to be a purchase, is a stump grinder. We don't currently have one, and we're going to need it to, well, as the name might suggest, grind the stumps off the trees. Because right now we're just kind of having to leave the stumps there, and uh, number one, it's not pretty, and number two, it's just kind of, it's a health and safety risk at times, especially with the church wanting to run events in here. Yeah, we can't leave bits of uh, detritus everywhere. And bits of wood and bits of stuff everywhere. You can see there's wood chips after going everywhere as well, bits of sawdust. And that's going to need to be cleaned up as well. Can I fit all of this in one go? This is a, probably a terrible idea, but can I fit this entire... No. Uh, if I cut it here-ish, then we can... Yes. Just kind of lump that bit in, and then just lump this bit in afterwards, like that. We're making solid progress here. I know that we've been at this for a while, and maybe some of you would prefer to have seen it um, all coming together in one go, but, you know, it's, it's a lot of work that needs to be done. And if I can get at least an area of it sorted, then, uh, well, number one, the church won't have to pay for the use of the pub's grounds anymore, because that's what they've been doing for the past few years. And, uh, yes, the pub won't give give the church use of the, uh, the grounds for free, which is a bit cheeky of them. But, uh, secondly, I mean, we get to show off our good work. And the 
trailer on the back of the fast track is now full, so let's just let's just leave that there and have done some work in the area. The construction crews have been in. And our expansion to the industrial estate is nearly complete. There's just a small bit of work to do, a bit of uh, leveling needing to be done, a bit of um, a small bit of extra construction work, but it is nearly done and it is in a position now where it is usable. Uh, so that's where we're heading now. Let's get our beacon on. We'll need a beacon. Uh, and what I'm tempted to do is get Sergei following me in the in the manor too. Um, because I will need to do some clearing of room over at the church anyway. Whoa! Okay. There has been some um, snowfall recently and yeah, it's affected the roads a bit. It's also presumably affected <laughs> the extension I put on the uh, Industrial state. So you can see that it has been extended significantly. It's taken over what used to be an entire field. And uh, right now, the only way in is via this field here, which it's not going to be a viable option once you know the grass starts growing. Yeah, there's snow everywhere. This is not quite gone to plan. <laughs> um, but we do have a wood chip storage facility here. That's why we're over here, and not in there, dumping into a shed. This area here will take our wood chips. Hopefully as many of them as will fit. And we'll uh, store them up for us. So we get effectively unlimited wood chips. Or wood chip storage. Um, now the bonus point of that is... what on earth is that? Oh, it's the brush. The bonus point of having that there is that it will... This isn't a mind, it will allow us to go ham with wood chips again. Um, because if we end up with way too many, we can just bring them over to the wood chip plant, to the biomass heating plant, which I think we've actually got one around here. Um, if not, then, well, we can get one built. It's not that big of a deal. We can produce... Oh, there is one at the main yard. I got one built at the main farm. So uh, I think the next batch of wood chips we produce I'm actually going to bring to the farm and throw into our biomass plant. Um, our heating plant. And we will produce some heat for the house and a bit of electricity. So the farm will effectively run um, at a profit just from existing. Because that thing produces far more electricity than the farm will ever use. And uh, just having it there is going to be a benefit monetarily. It's going to just pump money out for us. So this next uh, trailer of wood chips I'm going to go over to the main farm. It's going to go straight into our little biomass plant there. And uh, I'm hoping the council will get out at some point with their road sweepers and stuff like that to grit the roads and to get all the salt out on them and get the, the um, snow off because while it's pretty seeing roads like that it's not particularly well helpful in any way how do I get in here over here, there seems to be bits of a tree in the way, which is not particularly helpful. Just reverse up to the conveyor on the back of this. Knacked up the reversing. There we go, this will be good. up to the conveyor, which should start running and start throwing wood chips in. Lovely. In theory. Yes. Wonderful. 
So that means we can now start loading up the wood chipper once again. I know we're filling the uh, trailer extremely quickly, but it's going to be a net benefit to us because basically all these wood chips are free money. We didn't pay for these logs to go in in the first place. We're paying for um, a bit of fuel, granted, but we're not paying for a whole lot. Even the chainsaw, the, the fuel costs are negligible, which is why I'm using it. Yeah, we're, we're basically getting free money here. Um, and goodwill. So there's no... Yeah, there's no loss here for us. That's why I'm doing this. Yeah, there's a loss of time, but it's winter. We wouldn't have been doing much anyway. You know, it's just time that we would have spent sat inside waiting for spring, effectively. Having this industrial estate basically means that we can work through the winter by doing... Um, logging tasks and renting equipment and borrowing stuff and doing log clearances in, in um, certain spots. And clearing out places and stuff like that and we'll get free money for it. And granted that wood chippers may be a bit overkill for what we're doing but it's definitely doing the job we needed to. Because it's chipping the wood, it's doing exactly what it should. And it's going through it uh, pretty much as fast as we can make logs worth chipping. Now this log here will be gone momentarily, and it'll be followed swiftly by. It's actually going through the wood faster than we can make it, which is pretty much ideal here. Yes, I know you should never jump onto a moving conveyor belt and all that, but it's fine, I know what I'm doing, there we go. Uh, can I just pick this up in one go and throw it in, possibly, maybe, uh, actually the well, now that it's flipped like that, the answer is probably yes. There we go, that's chipping up. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Did see another bit of wood just kind of flop over here somewhere. And I don't know where it is, so I can probably unearth itself in the spring when the snow melts. Um. The trailer's about two-thirds full now. And it is just a case of getting the wood into a position where it is uh, at least mostly logical to chip it up. Like, eh, this bit here that we just cut can get, I can get thrown straight into the chipper. And we can pretty much forget about it. If it wants to... Is it going in the logical... No. Get... Oh, please don't tell me it's going to get stuck there now forever. May have done stupid. Um, let's grab this log here and just kind of chop it up into smaller bits. I spy a bit of wood that we were looking for a minute ago. There it is. And we're flying. Wonderful. Back down to ground level with us. And, oh, that log is kind of trying to feed itself into the chipper. I think it has, in fact, fed itself in. Lovely. It is nice when it decides, uh, or remembers how, how a log should work. Still trying, and uh, that's the important thing is that it tries. Now we've got two trying to get into the chipper. Okay, you can get in there. 
and you can come on follow it you can get down onto the conveyor and what on earth no, don't go into the pub it's true he was apparently an alcoholic also seen Sergey coming out of the pub too many nights in a row it's trying and failing but trying let's uh, get this log ready to go in doesn't particularly matter if we leave the twigs and leaves on it it'll uh, chip nicely regardless That's what I was looking for. That's actually even better, because now I can just lob it straight out, and it'll chip up nicely. Has it forced the other bit through? It has actually forced the other log through. The other branch, I should say. Let's see. Um, this can all go through in one go as well, I presume. Yeah, this can go through in one go. Easy. And once this gets loaded in, like that, it should chip up enough that we need to move the trailer again. Nope. Okay. That's perfectly fine by me. Okay, what's going on with this? This somehow has managed to get... I managed to cut this one in such a way that it's fused right in the middle. That's amazing. Um, and I'm gonna cut this in a weird way here. Uh, I'm gonna cut it there, just because that looks like it might have a lot of knots going on here in front of us. And it's a quite large bit of wood, quite heavy to boot. We'll just throw that in. Away we go. That actually was a very large bit of wood that produced far more than I'd expected. So let's get the JCB out of here. And get going over to our biomass plant, not the storage, the biomass plant that is in the main yard. We will empty that there and we'll see what we're gonna do from there because I think one thing I need to do as well is uh, give the fast track a bit of a steam clean we do have a steam cleaner available to us and it's conveniently parked right it's well I say parked it's conveniently located right beside our biomass plant um, So, we will definitely be making use of that. Just because it's it's the most convenient thing for us to use. Um, now, the money hasn't come out of the bank account for the... the um, extension yet, because it's not quite done. The extension to our, our um, industrial estate. But when it does, I've been told it's going to be about quarter of a million pounds. 250,000, uh, roughly speaking. <laughs> With no further expenses, it'll be 250,000. So there is our biomass plant. You can see it there, looking resplendent in white. And there is our steam cleaner. So let's reverse up to this. Nice and slow. That should be close up. Let's tip in. Let's move forward much. Now while that's tipping, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab why is it not letting me ah I don't know how full this thing is. Hmm. I'm going to give the fast track a quick steam clean. Get rid of all the mud and bits off it. 
Because it'll get money again very quickly. I mean, it's heavy enough that the snow pretty much melts underneath it. Especially with the stonking great engine, the fact that I tend to uh, just blast it through areas. The trailer as well can get a clean. That'll do. And this thing is... Is there any indication of how full this thing is? Absolutely none. Okay. That's fine. Um, but this is producing money for us. Effectively free money at that. So let's get the fast track and the trailer back over to the church. And uh, I think I'm going to call it an episode or a video when we get over there. I know we didn't get much done. We got two trailer loads of wood chips delivered. One into storage, one being uh, converted directly into money, which is always nice. Of course, during the winter, you know, we kind of make money however we can. And uh, while the um, cleaning of the churchyard, yes, it's boring work. I know it's boring. It bores me. It's not in any way exciting, but it's work that needs to be done. Um, it's also uh, free money. It's it, it's free money. It's income. It's income we wouldn't be getting otherwise. So I'm not gonna complain about getting what amounts to money for free. Um, yes, it's wood we can't use for anything. Um, it all needs to be chipped. It's all it's live wood, but it's best being chipped. Um, there's nothing particularly wrong with it, we just don't have any use for it. There's nobody in the area has use for, um, for oak or, or beech or birch or any of that. So it all has to be chipped up, uh, just due to the simple fact that it's useless wood. Um, if there's income to be gained from selling it, I would sell, I would sell it, but the trees, yeah, they're, they're not, they're not the right type of trees. There is a logging forest um, just out of town. You've seen it the day that we did, the, we borrowed the, um, the Scorpion King. By the way, I did mention that the money we spent on that was for um, insurance. I did kind of bonk it off a few things, didn't I? Um, as did Sergei, so I mean, that's... Yeah, that's money we won't be seeing again. That's, what was it, £6,000 that we accidentally wasted by just running into things like an idiot? Come on. I know you want to go under there, trailer. I know you do. There we go. Come on, you should be under there now. Close enough. But that is, uh, do you know, can we fill up another trailer? Oh, it's just not playing nice, is it? Let's get this all lined up nicely this time. There we go. <sighs> That's still not good enough, is it? Oh, it is. Wonderful. Um, can we get another trailer load of wood done? Just because I feel like two's company, but three's enough. <laughs> you know, the, I'd like to get at least this top area cleaned out a bit more uh, before I finish this video. So let's get some more shipping going. There. You can see some of the. You can see why this wood is pretty much useless. I mean, it's it's all bent and gnarly, and you can't you can't get a straight plank out of this at all. You'd be wasting so much wood on it that you can't get anything straight out of this um, without having to use just the trunk of the tree. And even then, the trunks are kind of 
wonky as well, so it's... The best case scenario is these things get chipped. Um, you can see the sawdust... We can use that and we can throw it into the, the wood chipper, or not the wood chipper, but the, the biomass plant as well. It, accept, it will accept sawdust, so uh, that's effectively more free money. Because that's stuff that most people would leave behind after the fact. Uh, can we get this bit in maybe, perhaps, if I throw it like that? Nope. Will this actually fit across the conveyor? There we go. That is chipping up nicely there. Uh, what's left here? Let's just run this. Uh, let's cut this in half and it'll chip up nicely as well. There we. Okay. There we go. We'll just. 29% of a full trailer, so just over a quarter. I think we can get another trailer load out of this today. we just do some speed cutting here. And by speed cutting I mean this is going to take an age regardless, so let's just work away. So, let's have a look. This can go straight in. This looks relatively straight as a piece of wood. So, and it is. And we're kind of stood on a bit of it, but it's fine. That'll go in there like that. This can go in next. This should produce quite a few chips, but in you, in you go. Uh, now this, this is definitely going to produce quite a few chips. This should actually fill up the trailer this bit here. Because we're at 54%, ah, it might not. Uh, but you can see the chipper's running at almost maximum capacity with some of these logs going in. So it is, I am pushing it as hard as I can. It's 64%. This might just tip it over, if it all wants to chip up, which it will, fantastic. Now this bit last, 71% of a full trailer, and this is in fact two pieces of wood together, so let's throw it like that and see what the chipper decides to do with it, because it will chip it, it's just a case of, oh it won't! Aha! So let's uh, cut this bit off here. Now it will, for the most part, this just this bit of wood is not wanting to. Okay, that bit of wood can stay there. Three quarters of a full trailer now, and uh, kind of just. Yeah, this is the quickest way to do it, is just chop chop wood into whatever uh, shapes you want, I guess. Including wonky ones like that, and just get the uh, straightest lines you can, because that's going to feed into the chipper nicely. So that's another tree ready-ish. Ready enough to go in. Drop it onto the conveyor and pick it up and oh, okay. Grab it grab grab it again. Just kinda of throw it at the conveyor. Pick it up and throw it in. It doesn't want to go in. Why doesn't it want to go in? Because it's stuck against the other piece of wood, isn't it? And that might well be both pieces entering now. Definitely that one. This one's just going to be a jerk and float for some reason. Uh, where's the bit of wood I was working on just then? There we go. So it is, you know, a case of... Uh, persevere and you'll eventually get the wood chips you want. Especially with some trees that just don't want to 
chip up nicely at all. Some bits of trees that don't want to go into the chipper. But as time goes on, you'll get quicker and quicker. I'm still learning, of course. I'm still an idiot when it comes to chipping and just in general. But you will. And uh, we will get these chips done in uh, pretty quick fashion. And of course, as we move further into this meadow yard area, we can move the uh, wood chipper in with us. And. Uh, you know, not have to walk as far with some of the, the wood that's down over there. We'll have to, you know, whoa, okay. That, okay, that was a thing. That was most definitely a thing that just happened. We only need like 5% of a trailer load, which is... Not much at all, just ignore the vibrating trees. Um, it's farm sim going weird. That should be enough now to fill the trailer as well, uh, possibly fill the chipper. So as I throw this in, I will leave you today by saying I've been Rainbow Dave, and you've been watching Farming Simulator 17 on Thornton Farm. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back on Thursday with more Thornton. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.